Looking like a baddie, I show up and make them stop Wanna know my name so badly, cause I run this whole block Fit my hair, move my head, show the world I'm royalty When I walk by, they be taking bows, cause they know I'm the queen, yeah Move it, move it, move it, move it They wanna know just how I do it when I do it, do it I got that magic touch, it's a rush Close to do my bangs when I show up, baby Hello, everyone. Buenas noches. My peeps. I love my peeps. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Um, another episode of Could Be You TV. Um, guys, we are all over. If you're not watching from somewhere, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, like everywhere, um, I'm going to have a talk with you later. But um, guys, if you're on Facebook, find me on Linda Lynn, uh, Could Be You TV, or Strong Island TV. And please share, share, share the video. Um, you know, sharing is caring. So, um, so yeah, so let's get right to it. I want to know how everybody was doing. I want to know how the weekend went. I have a lot to talk about. I have an amazing show, amazing guest. Uh, but before, let's just get right to our birthday shout outs. And happy birthday, feliz cumpleaños. And for those of you who always <laughs> ask me, um, oh my God, how did you know it was my birthday? Well, I'll let you in a little secret. Well, it's not really a secret, but if we're friends on um, Facebook, you know, when you get a notification that says, you know, birthdays today, that's how I know if it's your birthday. Uh, and if we're not friends, what are you waiting for? And also, if you want to um, give a shout out, a birthday shout out, or you want to say anything special to anyone, you can always email me at couldbeutv at gmail.com. All righty. So now that's out of the way. Um, so today is a very special day, guys, because it is my anniversary. Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, me and hubby, we're... Um, 26 years together yeah he rocked the cradle yes Shh, don't say anything. but um yes uh it is our anniversary and but i'm here with you guys okay because i want to share everything but i want to show this special um slideshow um just to give homage to our anniversary there must have been an angel by my side beautiful um i just want to say thank you baby for um making me the happiest girl in the whole wide world Mwah! hope for another 26 years so um what's up everybody what's everybody do this weekend um if you go on, if you're on facebook write write to me i, I want to know uh on the comments you know i have my uh, computer here and i see the comments so i want to i want to interact i want to see um let's see what happened this weekend so as many of you know, uh, we had a lot going on in Long Island because uh, we had uh, parades all over. We had the Pride Parades um, in a couple of towns, and it's, it was amazing. Um, um, I actually attended the um, Babylon one. 
Um, it was so nice. I brought out the uh, my little babies, my my little fur babies, and I actually had a I had a great time. It was amazing. It was a beautiful day to begin with. Met a lot of people over there. Saw a lot of people that I knew. Um, the whole parade was awesome. The floats. And you know what, Bobby? Do we have a video that I can show? Four years! This is our fourth year doing Babylon Village Pride. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Oh my God, how awesome was that? Um, and I also want to give a quick shout out uh, to Roman. Uh, Roman was the one uh, from the beginning um, for um, his participation. And I'm putting together uh, this amazing event alongside with his team. Um, his speech was amazing. Um, so Roman, I want to give you props. I'm telling you everything was fantastic, amazing. Um, we're going to have to talk about next year because I'm going to be coming through. Um, and I don't want to forget because I have to show this video when I took my fur babies to this parade. It seems like it was uh, a show uh, for them. Like they stole the show. Like, I couldn't even walk with them. Mind you, I had a stroller for them because, you know, I have little Frenchies with little legs that they can't walk too fast. Everyone was stopping us. Every, I mean, if I had a jar, I mean, I think I would have come home with a couple of, of G's. Bobby, let's show that video to show how famous my babies were. One, two. Three into the four, Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the door. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Cause you know we're about to rip shit up. Give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Long Beach together, now you know you in trouble. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Too low. Thank you so much. You have, you have fans love here, girls. <laughs> we do. I'm the number one fan. You're the number one fan? I'm the number one fan of these girlies. Karma, Luna, Karma. <laughs> On, guys <laughs> how amazing was that how cute yes they had a long day you know the meet and greet you know they were exhausted at the end and that's only not even half of uh not even a quarter not even a half a quarter of what was going on so i have to give a shout out to luna and um and rex and karma um they're all siblings and they all stole the show and it was great so um but um guys 
We have an amazing show. I can't wait to bring out our next guest. Um, so we're gonna take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're gonna come back with Gabriella Rose. Woohoo! With no further ado, drum roll, please. Brrr. I have here the amazing and beautiful recording artist Gabrielle Rose. Hi. Oh my God! Thank you so much for coming thank here. You for me. Oh my God! I want to hear <laughs> all about it, girl. Because Everything. watching that video, listening to that. Song. It's you. like, girl, you. Thank what you. are you even doing here? You, you should Thank be you. out there, like, you know, Thank giving you. Beyonce competition. Thank you. For so welcome, welcome. You. So Thank you. I want to know all about it. Where, where are you originally from? I'm. Fr I was born in Brooklyn. I grew up in Balmoral, Long Island. Look, so yeah, you I are. Here when I was four. Nice. Yeah. So you are an island girl. I am. Oh my God. We're from I Brooklyn. Am. I'm from Brooklyn too. My dad's from Mill Basin. My mom's from Sheepshead Bay. Ah. So, my hubby mm -hmm. is from um, Marine Park. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I'm from the other side. I'm from East New York. Okay. So, yeah. Well, so far away. <laughs> I grew up here. My mom, both of my parents, they said, you have Brooklyn blood. Don't ever forget it. When I say I'm from Long Island, like, no, you're not. <laughs> you're from Brooklyn. That's right. Brooklyn. My whole, Brooklyn's in the house. My whole family is from Brooklyn. <laughs> That's right. They, well, I hope our yeah. Brooklyn people are watching. That's right. Like, hello. That's right. That's I want right. to see everybody making their comments, That's telling me right. where you're from. <laughs> right. But um, so tell me about your music and tell me exactly when did you start doing your music? Like, what exactly oh, yeah. are you doing now? Like, I want to know oh, it all. Yeah. And not just me. Everybody that's watching and tuning in right now, they yeah. want to know who Gabriella Rose is. So it's a lot. It's a lot. We want to hear it. That's why <laughs> we're here. I'm, I'm extra. I'm always a little extra. Um, oh my goodness! I started singing when I was six. Um, I was a shy kid. I always wanted to sing. My mom put me in lessons when I was six. I started acting, dancing. I was shy when she said, "If she gets on stage, okay, she's either gonna." curl up or she's going to break out. Okay. And it was my favorite place to be. Why? My because is it, was it like at home that you were really singing and dancing? Like what were you I, doing? I, that I you asked for singing lessons when I was six. Okay. But I was super shy. And then my mom put me in acting because I was going to have to be on stage. Okay. And she said she's either going to like love it and break out. I would like hide behind my mom or I'm going to hate it. And I will never forget. I just remember being on stage. Okay. I don't remember so many things from my childhood. I remember this, and I just loved it. It was, like, home to me. I was comfortable always. It, so 
I it's haven't so stopped funny. since. It's, it's so funny because uh, I have a, 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 I don't remember that much either, but I do have a quick story, a similar story. I remember being, I don't know how old, I must be very, very young, like maybe even seven, eight, nine, something like that. And I too was very shy. And my mom as well took me to like a talent um, play singing and stuff like that. Isn't that funny? And I remember, I specifically remember this man um, asking me my name and I was so shy that I, 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 I wasn't even like saying my name. And I remember him telling, I don't know what he was I don't know why we would remember that. I guess those, mm -hmm. those are like the pinpoints in life that kind right. of like... Certain things I stick do, with you, I know. Yeah, I do mm -hmm. remember that too. I remember being shy and I remember my mother taking me to some kind of um, talent place and I remember being so shy that the guy's asking me my right. name and I couldn't even say my name. Right. Anyway, it's like, why am I doing here if I can't even... Right, <laughs> right. That's amazing. So from there you... you and that was here I where? I never in Brooklyn? stopped. That was at the stage in Merrick. In, Me in okay. Merrick, there is a, I think it's closed now. It might still be there. The stage in Merrick. Okay. Um, and I never got off stage. And when I was 14, I competed at the Apollo Amateur Night. And I won. Wow. And I won. And I won six times. That's and, amazing. And thank Are you. you. Kidding it, me? I was, it was from when I was 14 to 15. So it was like year long, basically. Okay. And it was every Wednesday. And like the winners would compete against the next round of winners, and then okay. so on. And um, yeah, I made it onto the TV show. On the TV show, which TV show was that? Amateur Night at the Apollo. Right. How but did you feel even being there? I, like, I mean, this is the Apollo we're talking about, and, the, and that crowd can be really tough. Oh, so I was fifteen. Impressive. Um, competing in the adult competition. I don't even know how that wow. happened. Wow. <laughs> um, on the show. I came in second. I lost to an electric violinist. Okay. But oh, so it was like a, a talent show all together. It's, yeah. It, okay. It's like, well, it, it's all different types of talent competing. Okay. But to get onto the show and win the title of amateur, amateur super top okay. dog. So it wasn't just singing. It's no, okay. but it's, um, it's a year long thing. So I won that. Oh. And then I was on the show. Um, and from there, I really started pursuing like a real career in music. So I okay. started writing when I was like 14. Um, I was always traveling throughout high school and I was back and forth to California and um, I just never stopped. So it's been an evolution and a roller coaster and a like constant evolution is life. In That's order life. To evolve. Yeah. So tell me about this, um, yeah. a little bit about this uh, music video and the song yes. that you just dropped and that I saw and it was super amazing Thank the you. song the vibe the lyrics Thank the production you. of the, the the music videos i want to know all about Thank it because you. you know i'm a critic myself because i i like i you i know do, you do. i yeah you i like know. what i see and i like and when i see something that i like i want to know thank you thank you um yes that is the latest thing i released and I went from being solo my whole life to being in a band for like six, seven years. Okay, you um, were in a band. Yes. Okay. Amazing experience. Um, again, everything happens for a reason. Now I'm right. back being solo. And I released that as a co-artist song with Yoni Babitsky, who produced it as well. Okay, um, shout out. Yes, my friend Chris Jackson, who's one of my best friends in the whole world, also co-wrote oh, it with me. in the whole world, she whole said? Whole world. He... Chris Jackson. That's a big tie. That's a. Where, he where is he? Is I wanna, if he's not DJ. listening, shame on you because he just <laughs> gave you a big shout out. I mean, she said in the whole wide it world. It is wild. Some people just come. I think everybody comes into your life for a reason. See, right, an amazing absolutely. songwriter. But I was. Um, Again, I don't just remember being 16, and I said to my parents, like, I gotta get out of Long Island. I gotta get to the city. I need to be around like different types of people and different types of music. And exactly. I always liked putting myself just like out there and learning and growing. Absolutely, and being, I love learning about different cultures and just I like, wanted to learn. Absolutely, and grow. So, I was in going into a meeting with these guys from a label, and they they took me to dinner, and then they said, come. Um, meet our artist. He's in the studio. And I just remember going to the studio with them. Uh, it was right by the restaurant. And I saw this guy. Fast forward years later, I'm working with Sturkin and Rogers, who founded Rihanna. And I'm at their studio. And they Hello. said, yeah. They we're making moves here, people. Yeah, like, we're, we're talking it is to a whole, This is not, like, was, this is, <laughs> this is some serious stuff.
stuff here. So everybody better pay attention, call your friends, share the video. Please share, uh, share the video because please. everybody needs to see uh, and hear uh, Gabriel's yeah. story. Yeah. I've, it's been, like I said, just constant nonstop working. And then as you keep going, you work your way, you know. So you basically up. made, so, so uh, my understanding, you, you moved and you lived in L.A. for a while. because Yeah. So do, that, you, do you find it that it, like, L.A. is the superstar place to be if you're going to, well, you know, like, a lot of people would think of New York, you know. So, okay. So I brought up CJ because Sir Hayden Rogers said we want you to, um, this guy's going to vocal produce for you. We're going to co-write with you and him, whatever. And the guy ended up being CJ. And this is years later. Okay. And he and I clicked like this, and it didn't work out with Sturkin and Rogers, but it was so obviously meant to be that I reconnected with right. CJ, Chris Jackson. Of course. So he was also in L.A., and we co-wrote this song together, Hurt okay. Myself. And this is so many years of writing together. But L.A. is definitely the home for music now. There definitely used to okay. be a lot more people in New York. Um, at least feel, for pop music. You felt music. that home there? You felt like that, you felt like that was the place um, to be for, I'm gonna for be the music? I'm going to be totally honest. For music, it's definitely great. Like people want that for acting and to the movies and, you know. Too. Um, totally for pop music, yes. Even like Nashville's. I love Nashville. Nashville, okay. there's a lot of pop going on there, too. Um, there's a lot more going on in L.A. than New York now. All my New York people left. Okay. They're there. They're, but, okay. Um, I just feel like, for me, I'm happy to go to L.A. and work with New right. York. Like, I'm such a New Yorker, and of New course. York is home to It'll me. Of course. never. You're once, yeah. So I lived there for two years. When my band and I, we went on a national tour. It was 32 cities, all U.S. and some parts of Canada. It was amazing. And uh, we got back. We said we have to be in California. We were living together in Belmore, actually. Were you scared to go? Like, I mean, did you ever no. go there? I, I traveled there all the time for throughout all high school, always, right. to work there, but I never lived there. I always wanted to, and finally, like, I can't be somewhere knowing that I could, like, I know, I knew I could do so much more if I was there. Right. I, was, it was, I, like, outgrew Belmore at the time. Okay. I actually wrote a song. You were excited song. to go already. Were you I scared? I was so excited. I wrote okay. a song called Enough. It's on my elbow. Enough. Um, about, like, needing to get out of my hometown and okay. grow. And it's funny because I say, like, I'm going and I'm never coming back. I came back. But it's all right. God has a plan. Yeah, I'm just exactly. going with it. It's okay. Absolutely. Everything Absolutely. that needed to happen there at the time it happened. But, um, yeah, so we got back from the tour and we said we have to move. So we were living together a few years in Belmore. Okay. One person was from Delaware, Connecticut, Jersey. Another person was from Connecticut. And then I was from Belmore. Um, so... We moved in together to make music together. Okay. And then we moved to L.A. And it was awesome. For two weeks, it was like nonstop. This is so obviously where we need to be. And right. then COVID happened and everything shut down. Let me tell so you. I lived in L.A. for like two years all throughout COVID. It was the weirdest. Wow. I didn't get the real experience, that's for sure. It was uh, weird. You know what? You know, <laughs> it, it was so weird. It is unfortunate that uh, COVID, you know, did take over the world and it, it, and it basically, you know, it was weird. like it stopped, like the world it was stopped, so weird. you know, and, you know, a lot of people unfortunately lost their lives uh, and a lot of people, right. you know, a lot of people lost their jobs and right. lost, had to do a whole rerouting of lives changing, you know. Um, I am so happy that at least now uh, we're able to kind of like pick up you know, the pieces and, and I, and I, and listen, I, I, I say for myself as well, you know, like it was a standstill and now I'm just picking up the pieces from then as well. Right. Right. Um, you know, it, it, it was, you know, a scare health wise right. and, you know, the world was basically a standstill. Like right. where is this the end? <laughs> like, how, you know, like was it being in, we, we went to LA, we were like, well, we'll Airbnb for like a couple weeks and then we'll disperse and figure out like, right. you know, get jobs here. And cause I was always gigging in New York. Um, but there was so much opportunity in California. So okay. we'll, we'll get there, we'll figure it out. Um, and it ended up, it was like slow season in New York. So it was like the perfect time anyway. So yeah, then we got stuck in the Airbnb for four months because you couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't wow. fly. They shut the airports down. It was crazy. So that happened, but we ended up making a whole album okay. throughout that time. There was, was literally nothing else we could made do. out there during that this time as song well? This song was not within the band house. It was after. Okay. Um, it was towards, like I guess, the end of when I lived there. Okay. Um, 
I did write it when I was out there. Okay. But it, we didn't finish it until I moved back. And it's weird because I wrote this song. Um, I wasn't experiencing that, my story in the song. It's about a really um, like abusive relationship, but it's really about realizing I was always a people pleaser my whole life, and I would change who I was to try and make other people happy, and Absolutely. I realized so much about that, and I well, worked can, on that so you much. You can tell it, it kind of projects off on the song, and, and, and you, your whole emotion, and your whole, yeah. you know, it wasn't just like, oh, acting, like I have to, like you can it's see the true story uh, totally. that comes out of that. Absolutely. Yeah. So I just learned that by changing who you are. It's not, it will never truly make anybody else happy, and it will never make you, you're only hurting you're really hurting yourself. Right. Um, and you just can't. I, I'm at the place in my life where I realize you can't force anything that is not Absolutely. meant to be. And try, it's people pleasing is an innocent form of manipulation, even though your your intentions are good. Good. Changing who you are to try and make someone like you or make right. sure they're okay or make them happy. It's never going to, in it's the that, long run, right. Absolutely. fix anything or make anything okay. Absolutely. So... From like from that song, like do you most of your music that you write and your songs and all that are they mostly from experiences or yes. is it? And that is something I had gone through many years prior. Um, but then it was so weird. Like I had moved back here and I entered like a brief relationship, and it was like I wrote this song foreshadowing what was about to happen. It, right. it was like I lived it again, except I believe I'm very spiritual and okay. that. Lessons, re thing? I yes, Less <laughs> <laughs> lessons. That's definitely a good thing. Yes, um, they'll keep reoccurring in your life until you finally like Absolutely. learn and make the change and treat it differently. Absolutely. So I felt like this. I couldn't believe it was happening to me again, but the way that I treated the situation again, I just it showed you me how much life, I learned. You learn from the I life. learned so much, and I was I got out quickly and I was I, I just dove into like learning about myself and I'm not bitter about anything that happened because I learned so much and it right. put me on this healing journey that I needed to, Absolutely. to be on. Absolutely, we all need that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not, if you were holding any grudges or you were bitter about things, I think you would, would be singing some kind of a, a metal head song. Right. Or, like, <laughs> 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 that, that, I like so many different types of music. That's not my thing. Pro but that would probably be the, the type of music you'll be singing just to let out all your right. anger and all the, right. you know. Or <laughs> right. No, now I take it out in the gym. But, but it's so but. funny because um, it's just different for me sometimes because... I don't know how do you write songs, um, lyrics first, like whatever comes I in. And you usually, I don't usually write lyrics first. Okay. A lot of times things will pop into my head and I'll voice note in my car, mm, like all the time. Okay. I also start on piano a lot. Okay. Um, sometimes I'll start with a track. This song, um, so I, so I met Yoni because Yoni owns an amazing coffee shop. It's called Enigma. If you're in LA, go. Oh, hello. Enigma. Enigma, Enigma Coffee sounds like is a, amazing. Sounds like an amazing coffee amazing. shop. Just the, just the name alone. It, it actually really is. Uh, can you send it some really coffee is. out here to New York, please? We would like to taste some Enigma it's, Coffee from LA. He needs to open some in New York. I'm a coffee snob. I uh, love my coffee. Hello. I, <laughs> Are you listening? Yoni, we need. Yoni. <laughs> Yoni, you're little Yoni. <laughs> We need some coffee, Hi. especially yeah. from LA. It's they roast their own beans. Hi. Was um, wondering. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, Yoni owns these coffee shops. The coffee shop was on the corner of the band Airbnb house, and okay. I was losing my mind in that house. So I walked my dog to the coffee shop, and I got my coffee, and the coffee was good, and I. I guess I was nice. And Yoni said to me... Was just being you? I was just being me. <laughs> and Yoni said, you're too nice to be from California. What are you doing here? And I told him what I was doing. And we hit it off. And he said, oh, I actually produce. And I'm, I'm a guitar player. Are you kidding me? No. So I'm looking at his Instagram. I was like, holy shit, this guy's like amazing. And... um we move out wow, of the house. Wow, look at that. If that it's wasn't crazy. like totally like meant to be and meant like that's how you really. Crazy. Yeah. 
that's what everything leads to the next thing. And so wait, it's crazy. so he had the coffee shop. Coffee shop. Right? Was he doing any music at that time? He was, he like paused for a minute. I think he went out there originally to make music. And it's like, sometimes you need to take a minute. Because it's, I always say to people, if you don't love it, if it's not your passion, like, you can't, it's just, it's such a rough industry. It's really, Absolutely. really hard. I, I totally get it. I, and you know what? Um, that was perfect timing, you know, but, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick commercial break. Okay. I'll talk um, forever. So you yeah. Oh, I can talk forever too. <laughs> Please, honey. Like this show is not long enough for us to go girls to be chatting, but <laughs> we're going to take a quick commercial break and when we come back, we're going to continue with Gabriella Rose. Yay. that video i totally totally love not only do i love the song um if you know you know um you look amazing girl that was a hot video um i know it's one of you probably a few years back yeah we need to bring that back let's yeah. come on let's bring that back because that was totally hot Thank so tell you. me a little bit about how that Thank came you. about that's crazy um i was working with young boys at the time, their production duo, and Liana Banks, who's a friend and an amazing songwriter. Um, we were in the studio, I forget what studio, so many, I don't remember. Um, but the song kind of just happened. And but who then, picked out that particular song? Because that's a very, so we sampled very like, that. worldwide known song. I don't remember who thought of that. We were, we were writing the song, and I don't remember who thought of mixing that sample in. Um, well, whoever did, that was an amazing and great maybe idea. Maybe it was Leon, I don't remember. We I need remember. to all reconnect here because I was feeling that <laughs> song. You look Thank hot, you. you look amazing. Thank you. Um, you know, so Thank here you. on the show, we have a little something, something that we like to talk about, what's trending, you know, what's okay. going on out there. Um, so let's just get some insight here of, okay. of what's going out there. You what's know, going this, like, on? What, Bobby, what's, go what's Bobby, going what's on? What's going on out there? <laughs> I want to know. I want to. I, I want to talk about there. it. <laughs> okay. First of all, um, oh, our no. condolences. Um, it, it's very, very sad and tragic. Uh, this past um, week, where Miss um, Jackie O, um, you know, she passed away from a, a, a cosmetic procedure, which is extremely sad. Um, you know, you hear more about that going on. Um, listen, I'm not against it. Um, but whoever is, you know, just do your research. Right. You never know. You know, that's why you have to get screening before. Like, right. I don't know exactly what happened. I do feel, um, very saddened by this because, um, she is actually the wife of one of the uh, members to the Wild and Out. 
the show Wild right. and Out, which um, is Justina Valentine. Right. And I do some work with Justina Valentine. So it's like it hits a little closer to home. Right. And she she had three young um, kids. and it's so sad. It's so sad. So our condolences to um, Jackie O's family and to DC uh, Fly. And um, so, yeah. What do we have next here? Okay. So. Okay. L you being that I know that you're like this fitness guru girl because I be seeing you on your Instagram. Okay. Well, now, I feel that everyone has to so do some sort of exercise. Well, you don't have to go to the gym. Right. You know, you don't have to be a gym rat, but you have to do some sort of exercise. You Not take only care of your health. Health-wise, right. cardiovascular. You know, right. You want to make health. sure and is okay. So now we have here Lizzo. So we all know who Lizzo is. Um, she's a beautiful, big girl, you know, um, but you know, with that comes out a lot of, a lot of backlash, you know, right. and a lot of trolling and a lot of fat shaming, right. you know, a lot of body shaming because right. a lot say that she's not doing, she's trying to encourage like for other people who are overweight to just um, stay that way that it's beautiful that be proud of what you have to be proud of this and she shows it off with no shame and and i'm all for it you know like there is no for me you know there's no body type of what it is to show up it's, there's no body type of what's beautiful or not you're a woman period you're beautiful 100%. you know but i do believe in in taking care of you know and just you know she is a beautiful girl but also it, you know, she is a little bit overweight, you know, I don't want to say she's, you know, I, I'm not going to bash her, but right. I, I don't know if she should, you know, she should be more, I know she hears it all the time and this is why the controversy, I, I believe uh, Candace Owens, <laughs> which she's yeah. very controversial and she likes, yeah. you know, Candace Owens, she just likes to ramble on and she says it how it is, you know, sometimes I know people like to say the truth because I'm one, like I... I don't know how to hold my tongue, you know. Um, but it's a way to say certain things, you know. And Candace Owens comes out. It's not what out. you say, it's how you say it's it. Not, exactly. But with Lizzo, she's clearly, for her to perform the way she performs, she has to be in shape. You can't sing like that and perform like that right. and not like, not be in some kind of shape right. to be able to even breathe. Like, it's hard to sing and dance. And uh, absolutely. The, all the things oh, she does. I know. That's why I hardly dance more. I, <laughs> I went on a serious healing journey too with my relationship with food and body. And I will say it doesn't matter if you're tiny or big. It's so about what's on the inside Absolutely. and how you feel about your, you can, you can get skinny. You can get it. it do, that doesn't mean you're going to be confident in yourself. It right. is so comes well, from the inside. Well, she's very confident and yeah. I give that to her, but also I would like to see her more encourage more, you know, of the eating health conscious. wealth, health, right. you know, and, you know, so right. I mean, props to you. And I see, you know, she, she, she apparently had blocked Candace Owens on Twitter and all that because okay. it's okay. so I don't know, but, <laughs> Um, what's that nice one, Bobby? So, I've never been to the gym in high heels. So I decided to wear high heels because I saw a girl on Instagram one time. And she basically wore a formal dress on the treadmill with high heels. So, considering I've always had a trainer tell me what to do in the gym, I decided, and that's my crazy husband, I decided to wear a dress to the gym to see what it feels like. And I really like it. <laughs> I copied that girl. And I feel, thank you for that girl for introducing me um, to wearing dresses and diamond dresses and high heels on the treadmill girl. <laughs> Brittany! Oh, God, Brittany, I, I, I was so wanting. Brittany! I want to so uh, like root for her and be on your side and and oh. I always give her the benefit of the doubt but Brittany Brittany what was that Brittany okay but, 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 uh, what, what, I uh, love fashion I love workout clothes the things I wear to the gym maybe some people wouldn't I'm 
what I personally wear. I don't dress. know who this girl is, is that no. she saw on Instagram. <laughs> maybe it was a joke. Maybe it was a dare. Maybe it was to try and get likes. And look, she got she got what she wanted. She got Britney Spears' attention, and right. she went doing the same thing. Right? Who is gonna go on the treadmill with heel, heels? In a dress. In a dress. I will say. I will say. So oh, like on the, the weekend, clunks or something. I gig every weekend, and I cannot. I have to wear heels the whole time, and we dance our ass off. It's a full cardio routine. It's like running on a treadmill in heels for four hours. I swear. I wore my Apple Watch the other day. It was a light gig. It was light. It was probably only two hours of cardio ish, and we burned over a thousand calories. So I'm like, oh my <laughs> I'm basically, goodness. So maybe. To practice performing in heels, you want to go on the trail. I mean, but at least I don't say know. that. I mean, at least say that. <laughs> don't make it seem like it's a, to, like it's a trend, and now people are gonna be going to the gym. I'm and trying to make it make sense. I'm trying to make it make sense. Like you know, and it's um, not only that, Brittany. I don't know what, what what's with the way you're talking. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> I don't know how old are you. You're in your 40s, I think. Maybe Brit. she has to be in the late 30s. Yeah, right, yeah. middle thirties, middle thirties, I think. Be, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Get it together. I I don't want to see you back to that place where you were. Um, so please, let's just leave the heels. You know, when we go out, you know, and look pretty and stuff, and leave Brit. the sneakers and the you know gym attire. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, but and, and that comes back to you too. You you're amazing in the gym too. I see you little Dang, little gym uh, is, you know guru over there. I've just, always been so passionate about. Health and fitness. I remember I started doing Zumba when I was like 11 or 13 okay. with my best friend. <laughs> and we would make each other lunches for camp, but we were always like, help. My mom is very into fitness and health. Okay, um, go mom. So yes. I guess that's where I get it from. My dad's side loves food. So I also love food, Ooh, but I love yeah. fitness. So th yeah. It's uh, a, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's something like my daughter. Shout out to my daughter, Tiana. Shout She's the same way. Tiana. She's also a very um, health, you know, fitness, health conscious and, you know, but she likes her food too. And yeah. we, she took after her mom. We like our sweet tooth you know but dessert. um but she you know she dessert. she's in the gym a lot and she knows you know so she's kind of balancing because she's like if i'm gonna have that piece of right. cake now nah, i'm gonna I did, go I you know and choose my moments when right when i really want it but even that like i really had to work on my relationship with and throughout covid i swear whatever fell apart was supposed to fall apart and it's such a blessing and right. everything that that seems like it's terrible in the moment it all works out in the end absolutely so, but i i use that time also to really i took a program called the food freedom program and it really helped me heal my relationship with food and body that's growing great up in the music industry absolutely since i'm six mm -hmm. it you know it's very critical and i was absolutely. always super critical of myself so now i'm in a pretty balanced healthy place with that is amazing bobby do we have anything else okay well that was that, that, that was some informative uh good <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to reach out to uh you know maybe lizzo's camp you know like maybe we should do something you know more like trying to get some you know what it is to uh i guess i understand what candace owens is saying like you have a lot of young people and the she little has a girls lot of influence, and, yeah yeah so you know you don't want um you know what pisses me off why it's like when you go through fast food i don't remember I, i'm not really a fast food um you know only when it's like really an emergency right me too. um but you know like they'll make for a salad is like seven dollars right. but yet like you can have a, a a whole meal of like double cheeseburgers or large coke large fries or whatever right. it is for under five dollars right. so who's not gonna go for that deal right so right how now. are they making it any easier for the people who's just trying to you right. know they have to feed large families, you're just going for the cheap. Right. You know, like, how about um, the salad is just 100%. freaking leaf grass from the, like, what are I you know. doing? 100%. But, I feel um, like it's also, when you go out of this country, when I've toured, like, UK, and so, it is so much easier to find clean, healthy food. You don't even have to try. Everything is just made better for you. Out of the UK? You. Out, out of the US. Out of the US. <laughs> like, uh -huh, when see? I toured Europe. We're gonna Europe, have to change something here with the US I people. I toured Europe. You're, even like a rest stop. 
there's animals right there, like laying the eggs, and they're <laughs> everything. I, everything's just clean, and there's no. no organic because it just I'll exists that, egg, that way. You. Yeah, it was She's laying an egg right I now. That one is mine. I was like, this is just a cow. There's, just a, there's a cow, and there's sheep, oh and there's chickens. Like, they're just amazing. right there. That is yeah, amazing. Yeah, it was eye-opening. But and I was, I was sitting in a car all eight. We were doing like a, it was like eight-hour drives. Those are the there, hardest sitting. because when you're on tour, you know, it's like hard. It's not like you're taking a chef with you on the road no. and you're not at the stage and where you're hiring I mean, chefs to make meals for you. So everything no. has and to I be quick. And I tried really yeah. hard to stay healthy, but it was... Well, it shows, girls. You're amazing. Thank you. you look great. And you Thank look, you. Um, but, um, Thank you. So what is next for Gabriella Ross? What, so what, what I'm is in the works? I'm very excited. I'm so excited to be working on solo projects again. Um, I'm working on... So I'm calling my genre now. Um, I made it up, but like music that let's, moves you. Let's get, I'm yeah, working absolutely. on like, a this dance is the project. Whole, okay, yeah, but acoustic versions of the dance as well. Okay. Um, so my music's either going to make you move your body, or it's going to move you emotionally. You're going to either going to cry go. or going to dance. But I just want to use my story and everything that's real to me to help others go through life and, and know that they're not alone and they have my support and music is so healing so if i could just so you want to do like healing through music yes like is that like a yes that's that's a, a, amazing i'm sure yes. a lot of people you know already not even going through the whole you know just listening to your music you know uh because i'm one like uh when i do my my writing and you know when i'm doing mu music i usually like i hear like a producer will send me a, a, a beat or right. I hear a beat and by listening to that, um, I feel the vibe of yes. that, you know, and I already could tell, is it going to be, uh, you know, a romantic song? Is it going to be right. a, a, a sensual song? Is it a really, like, you know, hard, right. like, you know, and that's when I start writing, you know, my lyrics, you right. know. Um, so you're just more emotionally where you want people to, because you've been through a lot of experiences, right. which, you know, have... Half the people are definitely going to indulge your music because you have a lot. You know, you you you're very passionate thank and uh, I, emotional person. Thank you. I am. Oh, I am. I am. <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah. Before you know, we run out of time because this is what happens when you, you know you have fun. You know, you start running out of time. You start running out of time. You know, um, just let everybody know where you know where can they um, reach you. What yes. are your handles? Absolutely. What um, with the music? Yes. You know, um, you can follow me everywhere. Gabrielle Ross Music and YouTube. Gabrielle Ross Music, everything. I'm going to be putting out new music, new videos, Spotify, app, wherever you listen to music, I'm there. So, um, yeah, Gabrielle Ross, and my handles are all Gabrielle Ross Music. Gabrielle Ross, yes. So, yeah. we're just going to take a minute here, and we're just going to give us some shout-outs, some people who tuned in. Yes. Uh, so, we have Larry Ross. Yes, yes, thank you so much for tuning in. We have Richie P. Yes, thank you. We have Hi. Katie. Thank Katie. you, Katie. She says that you are the best. Gab is the best. Yes, she is. Uh, shout out to Strong Island Television Woo! and Bobby and all that. I um, mean, this is, um, I wouldn't be able to do all this without them. Thank you. Um, and let's also give a shout out to. Um, Pretty little Liam Brez. Thank you so much for tuning in. Great supporter. Um, I love it. Thank you so much. And for all my Instagram viewers, um, I wish, I'm glad that you're here with me, but I wish you would see us on Facebook so you can see the show as entirety. But no worries because the show will always be on there on Could Be You TV, on Strong Island TV, on Linda Lynn. So thank you all um, who was tuning in behind the scenes. And. Um, and yeah, you know, Gabrielle, it was a pleasure. Same here. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. And I cannot wait um, to hear more music. Thank you. Thank and you. I can't wait to, um, you know, and like I had said, you know, we definitely should definitely get together. I would and we should love do to. I would love to. People, I would love you know, to. And we have to give a special shout out to our friend. Andres, because he was the one who introduced yes. us, right? Let's give him a shout out. <laughs> yes, because I of love him. You, Andres. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. Well, he did the introduction, yes, right? He I mean, did. that's how you meet. Yeah, because yes. you know, 
that's how you meet people, obviously, yes. you know, and if it wasn't yes. for Andre, so, you know, and, um, yes. yeah, well, definitely, I think this will be great, you Absolutely. know. I would love to. Yeah, definitely. So, um, oh, my people, I love you all. Gabrielle, once again, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. For um, from coming down uh, and chit chatting, My and pleasure. you know, thank you so much. Yeah, and you can let everybody know also that the show is on Facebook. Um, you can look at Linda Lynn, could be you TV. It's on Strong Island Television. I'll share it on all my platforms. Yeah, please yeah. share, share, share <laughs> of the video because you know the more, um, the more sharing, the more views. And I wanna, I wanna thank all my um, loyal viewers. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in um, every week to be here with me. Um, you know, guys, I always say this, but I do this for you guys. Like. I do this because I get your messages and I read them and it makes me so happy when, you know, you tell me things like, oh, you know, I look forward to your show when uh, who's your next guest, you know, uh, you're an inspiration, you motivate me. And I'm like, oh, my God, stop. You know, I do this because I love to do it, you know, and, and, and it gives me great pleasure to provide a platform Um for uh, for anyone you know it's not just artists you know you have entrepreneurial business people and all um and before i forget because you know i don't want to get caught up in some kind of you know lawsuit but everything that i showed of what's trending um i get that from unlocked hollywood yeah you know because i take it off of them they're my source so i just want to give a quick shout out and give them credit that that's where i get my source so you know there's no confusion and twisted that i get you know so we got that out of the way but um well, gracias, mi amigos, mi gente. I love you all. I can't wait to see you next time. Same place. So here, and I leave you off with this inspiration video, and I hope it inspires you, and I hope you have a great night. So thank you. Bye. Uh, to all the people having birthdays, let's be grateful, right? Let's be grateful that we have another birthday to celebrate, enjoy life. I don't know about you, but I love life. And I love my life. And everyone has their ups and downs. You know, life is not perfect. It's what you make of it. And I want to live. I want to live every day. Um, I want to see beautiful things. I thank God every time I wake up each morning. Um, you know, my mom always instilled in me. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is just thank God for giving you that, um, that gift to open up your eyes and to see the world and to see, you know, I, I, I'm gonna fight for my life. I'm not ever gonna put my life in danger because I love life 